You know the punishment for theft. Do you? I'm only here to retrieve what you stole from me, Nana. So let me stand. Or kill me right here and deal with the mess it'll cause you. You should be thanking me, not threatening me. One word in the right ear, you would hang. Not if I silenced your tongue. Oh, you can't do that. No, and why not? Well, there's my letter. What letter? My letter to the Commodore. To be delivered to him in the event that I come to, well, an unforeseen end, I suppose. It mentions you. There's no letter. You would never risk exposing yourself like that. One way or another, I've spent my life exposing myself. And given the letter will only be read after I've been sent to my lonely grave, well, hardly seems to matter, does it? Now, here's what I don't understand. You're rich, you're free, and the risk is so unequal to the reward. Why take it? Be assured, there's purpose to it. It is nice to have a purpose. Mine, of course, is less inscrutable than yours. One day I'll return to England a very rich woman. What you're about to say, Rose, don't say it. I beg you. You steal from me, and then you throw yourself at my mercy? I did it for love, not greed. Well then, more fool you. I'm not talking about the love of a man. Who then? What do you want? No love. What does anybody want? I want your money. How much is it gonna take? Don't be silly now, sweetness. All of it. 